Melly is done. Everybody keep thinking that he's going to beat this case. I see a lot of people in my comment section is saying he's going to beat this case. The only way Melly's going to beat this case is if the prosecution screws it up. They're going to be able to get an appeal, which they're already setting that up. So if he loses trial, he has enough to be able to get an appeal. I can see that coming. The prosecution is the only ones that can mess this up. That undercover cop wearing a mask, I understand, is definitely point for Melly's defense because they can say, you guys are trying to paint this picture of my client being this violent gang member where they're putting hits out on cops and all that. So that's all a plus for the defense, right? But what I'm seeing coming from the prosecution is damaging evidence against YNW Melly. And this is why I'm gonna break this down like nobody else hasn't broken this down yet. Listen to this. Before the murder, during the murder, and after the murder, the prosecution showed text messages that shows that's Melly's phone. What has been it continues. He then asks his mother to buy him a gloss. ASAP. He's asking his mom for a Glock 40 after the murder. Remember what the casings were inside the car. There were 40 cow casings inside the car. That shows that he was trying to get a new Glock 40. Why all of a sudden you're asking for a Glock 40 specifically, right? So they're already painting the picture that he's asking for a Glock 40 for a reason. He don't have his regular Glock 40 anymore. It's dirty, they had to get rid of it. Then they're I'm not scared, just listen. How is he gonna say that if you literally just, if you just lost two of you guys? This message is right here showed that he wasn't in faith for his life. He was in danger. He told his mom he was in danger. How the fuck you're not in danger if you just got shot at, your man's got killed, you just lost two of you guys. This is damaging evidence towards YNW Melly, man. This is clear proof and evidence that this is Jamal Demon's phone because he's speaking with his mother on that one. A regular person will be telling his mom, like, come on, man, I just lost two of my guys. I do need guns. I need the best. I need security. Like, he's talking like nothing. And these phone records show that he was the only one using the phone. They're showing his license. They're showing him trying to get a rental. Like, you have to show me. You being, you being the defense, you have to show me phone records of another phone that YNW Melly is using, like, just as much as he's using this phone. Because right now, this phone is the only phone that shows him holding it all the way to the last minute when they jumped in the car. And that's the last footage they got of him jumping in the car with them. And all of a sudden, all the way to the last minute, you have that phone. But in the time of the murder, you just happened to not have that phone that was in your phone. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is crazy, but it does, it does not look good. The only way he's going to beat this is if the prosecution screws it up some way, somehow. In addition, the defendant also, in other conversations, Call the phone records and all of the mapping that was done put in yesterday to show that this phone goes from the studio and is consistent with the phone of Anthony Williams, which is the other phone that's on there on T-Mobile, and all the way out to the scene of the crime. Let me know what y'all think, man. Shit, I hit that like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share this. Fuck with your boy, man. Ain't nobody bringing out to you like this. Boss, you too, let's get it.